philosophy is the I mean, the classical definition is the study of wisdom, but it includes so many things, and that's one of the great things about philosophy. It can be about ethics, it can be about the study of reality, it can be about personal identity, and it keeps developing and growing over time. Philosophy is it's interesting, it is cool, it is captivating. It's a kind of um, uh, critical thinking, it's a kind of deep inquiry, it's a kind of not being satisfied by pat answers. It's about wondering, ultimately. I think it's a great way of acknowledging that even though philosophy has been around for a really long time, it's not irrelevant. Nothing applies more to the things we think about every day than philosophy, really. Um, the decisions we make, the decisions we struggle over, the things that really captivate us and drive us. You know, as much as I love uh, these guys right here, I would have to say that my favorite philosopher is probably, um, at least within the last hundred years, Michel Foucault. Just a wonderful philosopher. He wrote a lot about mental illness, about prisons, about sexuality, and I think that uh, using his perspective is a great way to examine the times we live in right now. Students have a wonderful opportunity to experience all the many different things that you can do in philosophy, the things that you can study. We've had many students go on to graduate school in philosophy or go to law school, medical school, become business entrepreneurs. Everyone is philosophical. Everyone is curious about these questions. And what we try to do in our philosophy classrooms at Hofstra is we try to do philosophy together with the students so students have an opportunity to recognize that they too are curious about these questions, that they too are capable of the kind of wonder that philosophy invites us to engage in. Nothing I can think of more has really enriched my life and, and really put me more into my own shoes uh, in the way that philosophy does.